Hi guys, welcome to today's tutorial. Today we are going to start a new series for API automation with Java and REST Assured. REST Assured is a framework, okay, which we, we are going to use along with your Java to automate the APIs. Okay, this tutorial concentrates more about REST APIs. Okay, what is like and we'll be learning from very uh, beginning or scratch. Okay, to automate how to automate APIs from very beginning to the advanced level. Okay, so let's quickly start and today's topic what we are going to discuss is What is API? We try to understand what is API or what is web service actually. Okay, so now what is web service? Web service It's basically a service that is served over the web okay or internet so let's say you're going to going to google.com and you are searching something on the web on google.com so this is whatever you are searching and whatever you're looking for this is treated as request okay you are requesting for something some document some resource some application some websites right and Google gives you some results. You're searching something on Google, right? So Google gives you some results. That is a response. Or you are in an application flipkart.com. You are searching some shoes. So you're getting some list of shoes. Okay. That is called a response. Basically, you are getting data or resources. Okay. As a response to your request. Correct. So this whole thing needs a medium or channel, right? The, the time you are requesting for something and the time you are getting something as a response, this whole operation happens through, has to happen some process or some medium or some communicator or some channel. Okay, this service is called or like it is happened through web service or apis okay so basically let's say you have an application let's say you are trying to book a bus ticket you want to go to bank bangalore from hyderabad okay let's say so you are going to redbus.com let's say okay and there you are searching source and destination means hyderabad to bangalore Right, and we're giving some date and you're searching with it. Okay, we'll see in a few seconds. Okay, once you are searching, there will be multiple vendor listing will be available, right? Okay, let me show you now itself. So here is redbus.com. I had opened already. So Bangalore to Hyderabad. Okay, you're selecting some date, let's say 19th of October. I'm searching the buses. Okay. Now, once I search, see this is happening. What is happening? So here you got Jabba Travels, Cavalry Travels, Orange Tools and Travels, all this. So these travels, these have different websites or web applications. Redbus does not have any tours and travels. This cannot, Redbus doesn't have any bus service, but it is when at the moment you search something okay some api or something from the back end get triggered and goes to different website different vendors orange jabber cavalry like this right this api once you search once you once you request for something then automatically some api or some back end code of API gets triggered okay and which will connect with different vendor it will ask from different vendors application or website do you have any available seats on that day from Bangalore to Hyderabad okay if it is yes it will show all the results okay Redbus doesn't have any bus service but these vendors have Redbus API communicates with this apis okay so now it might happen red bus is developed in java let's say okay orange travels and tours and travels okay 
okay let's go to their website okay okay this is also a website right but you are not searching directly here you are searching here but you are getting the result of orange details how because Redbus api is contacting this application or this apis so it will return some data to this and it will show in the Redbus. so now what i was trying to say suppose you have uh, you have selected this one right so now let's say your red bus is developed in the back end of java okay and let's say your orange is developed in python orange travels is developed in python or ruby or fortran whatever might be or pearl groovy whatever okay let's say red bus technology whatever technology it has been uh, no worked upon don't that technology is different from orange travels technology the website that is built on the technology i'm talking about okay these two technology does cannot in let's say cannot interact with each other okay but you need to exchange the data okay because you are over the net over the web everything and anything needs to exchange the data with one application to other application so one application red bus may not understand other applications technology or details but you have or you should be having a way to provide some communication medium or channel so that these two application orange and red bus can communicate with each other provide the details or exchange the information so that both can share the business and serve you as a client right now this the medium channel or communicator called as api or web services okay same thing i had tried to mention here you have an application okay it needs to connect with other application okay it might happen these all the applications are built on different technology different you know resources different aspects altogether but it needs to communicate because the applications are on the web and somehow some point of time each and other application has to contact each other for exchanging data so they don't or they can't inter inter interact with each other let's say so how they should communicate they should communicate through a medium okay that is called web service so web service in a single layman's word if i try to explain it is a service served over the web and it connects through multiple application and communicates between them provide and support all the resources okay from one application to other application you are let's say you are doing some facebook okay facebook has n number of apis or web service apis one api let's say you was doing some chat that chat is only responsible for your handling chat okay on the same some time you are calling you are clicking on home page or your own profile okay activity log how it is happening it is calling some backend code okay or backend api the communication might happen or happens through api calls this calls or this process of request and response is based on api calls as well so that's all guys if you do have any comments questions suggestions please put them in the comment box if you do like my video please share like and subscribe to my channel